Uh, my name's Mark Randon, and you're watching Bison TV. Another single game weekend at the Basin Stoke Arena saw the whole Pirates kick off proceedings in March for the Paul Baldwin Agency's Basin Stoke Bison. A very welcome return to the ice for Grant Rounding to the delight of the packed crowd. <laughs> Pirates elected to start their backup netminder Ashley Smith for the match, and the host wanted to take full advantage. Aaron Connolly, the first man to get himself on the scoreboard, the drive from the point doing the damage as our Barracuda Network replay show, the tip from the captain slipping past the netminder for the opener. Very soon after, less than two minutes in fact, the Bison doubled their lead courtesy of Declan Barmer. The D-man shot from the point somehow slipping its way into the net. A Barracuda Network's replay showing the huge deflection that did the damage in front. And with a further blink of the eye, just over a minute and 20 seconds later, a third goal was on the board. Neat build-up play from René Yarling creating the opportunity, with Alan Lack cashing in on his return to action. Barracuda Network's replay showing his ability to crash the net bringing great rewards as the Pirates called a timeout with coach Dominic Osman laying down the law. It stemmed the tide for a while but there would be no stopping the Bison adding a fourth before the end of the period. Black having to do a little bit more work to find the back of the net this time linking up well across the line as our Barracuda Network replay shows as the perfect opening 20 minutes came to a close. Into the second and the Paul Bourbon Agency's Basingstoke Bison continued to put the pressure on the whole Pirates net, but Smith was holding firm for now with a couple of great stops. But a power play opportunity for the Herd would see the fifth added to the scoreboard. Again retention of the puck doing the damage with Barmer's eventual shot from the point finding its way into the bottom corner. The Barracuda Network's replay showing the pinpoint finish that he was able to produce. Disaster would strike for the young goalie soon after though, leaving the puck for a teammate Thomas Karpov jumped in first, setting up the chance for Kira Long to net his only goal of the game. The forward taking his time with the Barracuda Network's replay showing that patience can sometimes be rewarded in finding the simple finish. Bison wouldn't have it all their own way though, as the Pirates would pile some pressure onto the herd net. And standing in their way was John Baston and his defence, putting everything on the line with our Barracuda Network's replay, catching everything of their staunch efforts.
And with the rear guard action in place, it gave the Bison the chance to add yet more goals to the delight of those in the Basingstoke Arena. Matwowski skating away from his defenceman and firing in the seventh of the night. A fine finish as our Barracuda Network's replay shows. Bringing an end to Smith's night in the Pirates' net, with import Martin Wrightons taking his place. Sadly for him though, less than 90 seconds later, he would be letting in the 8th of the night off his first shot. Thomas Karpov dancing his way through the defence to make the opportunity and then fire through the five hole as another perfect period for the Pool Ball 1 Agency's Basie Stoke Bison came to a close. Into the third and a change of netminders with Dan Weller Evans taking over between the pipes. Although it didn't change the situations for the Pirates as he too held firm. Joe Greener would add a ninth on the night for the herd before Declan Barmer completed his night to remember. A hat trick for the defence, completing a memorable night for the Bison with 10 goals on the board and the charge for the title continuing.